Nine months ago, when I was a lot chubbier, I made a video talking about where to find style inspiration. And in that video, I mentioned Instagram, where I said, Comment below if you'd like me to make an entire video dedicated to Instagrammers that I personally follow and recommend. Well, you guys wanted it, so here you go. These are the top 10 men's style pages on Instagram. The criteria for this list is classic sartorial style and street sartorial style. The pages have to have a primary focus on the clothing and have continuous uploads, no dead channels here. And I don't care about super fancy feeds that look nice or Photoshop pictures that are really color graded heavily or useless shirtless bathroom pictures holding up a sponsored product, okay? This is for real influence, stuff that is actually helpful, not that typical influencer bullshit that influences nobody. And for that reason, I wouldn't even be on this list. Numbers 10 through two are loosely based on an order it was really hard because they're all so good so it's really hard to say which one is number 10 number eight number three or number two but number one in my opinion definitely deserves the number one spot and with that being said let's just jump into it let's go At number 10, we have Leonida Ferrarese at Leonida. Now, he's the head of the Sartoria Bottega del Mut, which has a fantastic page in and of itself. And what I really love about it is this guy's suits have very beautiful, really wide peak lapel. So obviously, I dig it, right? And he has a great use of white and bright yellow in the winter, which is really hard for most people to pull off, but he just makes it look fantastic. Really different from what most people wear in the winter color-wise. And the thing that's really good about him is that he can pull off the baseball cap with more formal jackets and suits than you normally would think. He makes me want to try it myself. I generally don't wear hats, but I've been getting into baseball caps recently, and I think I'm going to try this out because those suits are a little bit more structured than I would think you would wear a baseball cap with, but it seems to work for him, so maybe it'll work for me. I don't know. And he's also great at dressing up hoodies. I'm not the biggest fan of hoodies myself, but I really actually now want to try and see how it looks because he really is good at pulling off the baseball cap hoodie, but with high rise, pleated trousers, and a more structured jacket. He dresses up to the tent and his dress down formal looks are absolutely incredible in my opinion. At number nine, we have Jamais Vulgaire, which is a French menswear blog, which translates to never vulgar. This page has such great outfits and pictures of outfits and he really goes whoever runs this page into detail in the description on what makes it look good and also descriptions of like new brands that are coming out and kind of a little mini review of them because it is a french page the descriptions are in french also in english but if you find some that are only in french just click translate and you'll be good just on this page alone you'll find a ton of new real influencers to follow with great style or great brands at number eight, we have Danilo Carnavale at Danilo Carnavale. Now, this dude loves his white pants and he pulls them off so well. And they're not like, you know, high rise pleated, nice dress pants that are white with a nice crease down the center and cuffed. No, they're pretty much like straight legged, non pleated, non creased white chinos, but he makes them look so nice. What I notice he's really good at is pairing brown and white together, whether it's in the summer or the winter. He also has great hair, which really, really helps. Italians, I've noticed they don't have a lot of super trendy haircuts. It's a lot more classic, and usually they have their hair very long. They like it long, and this proves how great it looks. I'm trying to grow out my hair if you can't tell, so we'll see, I'll probably butcher. I'll look like Napoleon. Even though he's mostly casually sartorial, his dress up suit game is unbelievable, quintessentially Italian. He's very skilled at layering, which keeps these casual outfits interesting because the more layers, the more interest and the more depth. He knows that when you dress up, you can keep it more simple just because of how nice it looks. And with more casual items, you need to bring in that extra flair to keep it interesting. He absolutely knows what he's doing and his dress up looks are impeccable and his dress down looks are just as great. Very great page, especially if you're looking for more classic casual looks that are actually interesting. At number seven, we have Maslow So, I believe it's pronounced. Now this 
guy is Japanese, I believe, but he's based in Hong Kong and he works with the Sartoria Il Negozio in Hong Kong. This guy has the most beautiful notch lapel suits I've ever seen in my life. And if you guys know me, I only wear peak lapel suits, but I would absolutely wear one of these. They are some of the most beautiful suits I've ever seen. The textures he used are just absolutely perfect. The minute you look at it, you're just like, wow. Heavy use of strong textures and muted earthy tones. The fabric is very British and the patterns that he uses, but the cut of these jackets that he has are so unique. The lapel roll on these alone are some of the best I've ever seen. It makes this beautiful crescent moon shape that is just oh, such eye candy. His style is completely his own and you know it when you see it, which really shows individual style. Perfect. At number six, we have Brian Sakawa at He Spoke Style. And now Brian, I mean, this guy is a master at dressing well and he's got such strong knowledge on sartorial style he really really does know and understand what he talks about he has one of the best youtube pages as well i mean i actually watch like pretty much every one of his videos which is very rare for me and his instagram page is just as good he finally made a good use of reels because normally you know they're no good this is usually you know TikTok thoughts that are just twerking this guy looks fantastic now he would look great decades and decades ago and he'll look great decades and decades in the future and he's the only american on this list which is shocking but it just shows you that he just dresses absolutely impeccably and he knows what he's talking about and he's helpful and he uploads frequently so fantastic page and a fantastic youtube channel just a great guy overall. At number five, we have Eric Boston at Eric Boston, and I'm hoping I'm pronouncing your last name correct, mate. He's Australian, so if you're not from Down Under, it's nice and refreshing to see a feed that is different from everything else because of the seasonal change. I actually found him when I worked at Craftsman's Clothing, and his style is just absolutely amazing. It's sporty sartorial or relaxed sartorial style, as he puts it, that's just so satisfying. It's very classic and vintage inspired, but he still keeps it really, really fresh. And he proves that you can tuck in your shirt to your jeans and still look crispy. Whether he's dressed up in a full classic suit or dressed down more casually, he always looks impeccable. And he's a super nice guy. This guy proves that followers don't mean jack crap. And I really do believe he is one of the most underrated on the entire platform. At number four, Luca Rubinacci at Luca underscore Rubinacci. Now, this guy is an absolute legend in the sartorial world. The Sartorio Rubinacci was founded by his grandfather, Gennaro Rubinacci, and he runs a brick and mortar store, Luca, in Naples, while his father, Mariano, runs the location in Milan. Strike that, reverse it. I really think Luca single-handedly brought Gurkha trousers back from the dead. That's how much influence this guy has. And like a Neapolitan, he wears the brightest, most crazy colored uh, jackets and trousers. Like this crazy purple, I couldn't even pull that off. But I mean, he's such a happy guy and it totally goes with his personality, his clothing. And they got such perfect synergy. So I think it works for him at least, it definitely does. And he has all these great tips that I use all the time and I learned a ton from him. And you gotta love him when you watch it because he always starts, hello everyone. Hello everyone. I think it's safe to say he influenced the sartorial world through Instagram more than anyone else has by a long shot. In my eyes, he is the king of sartorial Instagram and one of the kings of the sartorial world, period. He's a living legend. Number three, we have Zayn Lim at The Xanification. And man, this guy, he's young, built, but dresses extremely classically, but not being boring in the slightest. And I mean, texture and fit heaven here. You see it and you're just like, oh, like the stuff that he wears is unbelievable. 
great use to a patterns and muted earthy tones. And his descriptions though are so detailed and on point. I learned so much about suit fit, trouser fit, and all that from his descriptions. And he really goes deep into them and especially with products themselves. And his reviews are amazing and many times they're in two parts. They'll say part one of part two or part two of part two. And it's so in depth and detailed. If you're looking for brands, then he's perfect. I've personally found a ton from him and I read his reviews and then he tags the actual page and then I go to that website and see what they have. It's perfect. He's a real influencer, someone who's actually helpful and one of the best dressed on the gram. Number two, we have Will at the Don's Club. And this guy, I just, mad respect to Will. This guy is one of the best. He is the sartorial Leonardo DiCaprio, and I guarantee you he gets that all the time, uh, but you know, he looks like Leonardo DiCaprio, but better. He's so good because he is so elegant and classic, yet he exudes so much badassery. And that's one of the great things I love about his page. It's just the detail he goes in in the description. He's not posting pictures for just the sake of posting pictures. How he dresses is much more classic in the fit and style than I wear, but I look at it and I go, that's absolutely beautiful. Works of art. He wears works of art. One of the very best on the gram, hands down. And before I go to number one, if you guys are enjoying this video, please press the like button, subscribe if you haven't, and turn on the bell notification icon so you'll actually be notified when I drop a new video because YouTube doesn't understand what subscriptions are anymore. So if you could do that, that would be amazing. Papa bless. Now, let's get to number one. Now the number one page for sartorial Instagram style, both classic and street, is Falco Boutique Way Caivano. Now this page isn't for an influencer, it's not a menswear blog, it's not even a particular brand. It's a boutiques page from Naples run by Luigi Basolino. And here's what makes this page number one, okay? This guy, whether it's on himself, Luigi, or on a mannequin, this guy can layer pattern match, color block, and use textures better than anyone I have ever seen, ever. I mean, just unbelievable. I have yet to find someone who does all those things better than him. He goes places I never would think of going in terms of colors, textures, and patterns, but they actually work, which is the oddest thing. I mean, look at this picture right here. I mean, with this, you have brown, you have beige, you have blue, you have navy, you have yellow. I mean, so many. But it works and it's not overwhelming. That's the odd thing about this. And, and a bunch of uh, like textures in it too. It's just perfect. He uses bright colors I never would have thought of using. And I started using them now like more pastel blues in the winter. And it just works so much better than I thought. And he posts two or three times a day, which normally would be obnoxious, but it isn't for me. And this is the only page I actually have notifications on. And every time I get up in the morning, I get a notification and I click it and I see it and I'm usually like, wow, that's awesome. And it's definitely Italian in style. And some things are gonna be too much for most people. And not everything I really like, but most of it I do, especially considering how much he posts, it's no big deal. And because it's a boutique, the great thing is, you don't have to go, oh, where can I get that? Everything you see that he posts, you can buy from him, which is absolutely fantastic. It's not like, yeah, you don't know where it's coming from or where you're gonna get it. It's right there. If you see something you like and you can afford it, bam, there it is. He sells a lot of great brands too, like Telly Torre, like this jacket, you know? So absolutely fantastic. And even if you don't like the style necessarily that he's posting, if it's something like a Glenn plaid jacket and you're just not that big on that particular Glenn plaid gray jacket or it's styling, it doesn't matter because a Glenn plaid, you know, jacket is a very classic piece and you can just incorporate your Glenn plaid jacket and use the patterns and the ideas that he has. You don't have to necessarily like the style to actually benefit and get inspired from this page. And each piece is so unique, but it still has an overall theme. It's definitely Luigi's interpretation of putting things together. Even though the captions don't explain anything, it's still just so useful, just combining all the things, the pattern matching, the color blocking, the textures, the frequency of uploads, and the fact that you can buy directly from his site, his boutique, is absolutely amazing. So that's why, in my opinion, it gets the number one spot. 
So I hope that helped. That was my list, but I want you to comment down below what your ideal list of Instagrammers for style would be. And also click here to view the ultimate inspiration because I'm a lot better here on YouTube than I am on Instagram. Trust me, you'll thank me for it. And until next time, adio. I miss you, I steady more. I do though.